Oxford Crest, Trees Company, and Jeweled Lotus. Let me tell you this. We are going for Duelists. I think so. We already have one Nyla. Watch me get two Nylas, okay? Watch me get two Nylas. There we go. Boom. Okay, one Nyla in the vein. Actually, perfect, right? So we can play four Duelists. Play this. We play this. We play this. We play this. Um, sell, sell, sell. Sell, sell, sell. And we make 10. Perfect. We put the Sunfire on Nyla because Nyla is going to be my main tank. We're just going to scale up, build, do a list vertically. And we keep on going. We need one more Nyla. So let's see what we can do. One of the best things you could possibly get is the Spreadshot Augment for Fane. But we're first going to itemize Nyla. Nyla will just give us so many. So much sustain with her heal. And she's a very good tank. And the whole key for dual is, is, of, is, of course, stacking up the attack speed. So we need the front line to be alive for this Fane to pop off. Then we'll see what we do. And I can already tell you, this is going to be a, at least a top three, right? Because I think Duelists are severely underrated right now. A lot of people have been playing it like in the earlier part of set 8. But now, a lot of people think they are not strong anymore. And I think it is still very strong Especially if you're just going for like a top 4, top 3. That's just a very good option to go for. So we're going to buy some 2 costs as well. Because we need our Ve uh, we need our Yasuo and we need our Viora. And as when we have these two, we're going fast 6. And put in 6 duelists. And we probably could scale up to stage 4. Then we really need to, to hit like all 2 stars. So let's see how it goes so far. He has straight sector. He could be strong now. He rolled his gold as well. He is decently strong. He has some ox force. That's annoying. I'm already going to put this on her. Because this can be a dragon claw or a ionic spark. We're fine. We're fine. Yep. Yeah. Good win. Good win. Get out the pools. We need our kill too, and we need our gangplank too as well. And then we are a okay. Is there anybody else playing duelist so far? And no one is. Okay, so there's no real reason for us to worry about anything so far. This is great. This is great as well. This is let me see three six seven. This is three six seven. Shut up, Siri. And that is a okay. So, we are 20 gold, full win streak, 2 Nylas, 2 Feints. These upgrades are going to be big for us. But we're not going to donkey roll for it, right? We're just going to make Econ right now. Even if we lose one or two round, uh, two fights, it doesn't really matter that much. I think I'm fairly confident before we do this, you can win most of them. This can be really hard because he has two 2 stars. That's a problem. He needs to ult. Ah, we're probably losing this. Depends, 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 depends. Will you clutch this? You will. Great, great, great. That's a great winning streak. 20 gold, win streak. Close to Anila and a Fane too. That will help me. So, for the people who are struggling to rank up, it is... Let me see. Wait, wait a second. We could go for Spatula for A to do this. But the last pick... But before we pick, everybody, you need to know this, okay? Duelist is all about tempo. If you cannot win streak early, you'll probably have a bad time because you will fall off. I'm really, I'm going to take the Nyla and I'll tell you why. i tell you why. I know I got a BT on Nyla now. And is that ideal? Probably not. But it's a decent item. It's a decent tank item. But a Nyla too just... It skills me up so so hard, right? So, what we're gonna do, we are probably gonna love. We cannot make eco, maybe, but I think securing the, the the win streak is a little bit more important. Like, let's um, turn out the two cost pools because we still need a Yasuo and a Fiora. When we get the Yasuo and Fiora, I probably will fast level up to six, and I think we'll be fine for at least stage three. 
So let's see how this goes. He is, oh, I think he's beatable. He's very beatable. The reason I go for the Nyla, first of all, if you're a duelist, playing vertical duelist, and with vertical, I mean you only play duelists. Your front line is not that strong. So one of the best things to do is build a strong Nyla ASAP. It's very important. Nyla is going to be your main front, front line, right? Good so far. 20 gold. Level 5. Still no other... I'm going to sell this just because. Um, still no Yasuo and no Fiora. Is someone play Yasuo Fiora? One Fiora here. One Fiora here. Yeah, Fiora is probably a little bit contested just because the Ox Force trait as well. But that's about it. Let's see what we can do. There's no... Is someone playing Recon? So far, only one. So, a... Um, Vein 3 is a possibility. And now, as you can see, I'm basically only winning these rounds because of my Nala, right? She's tanking so much. A Duelist can stack up. Great. She does the most damage. She tanks the most. She heals the most. Great, great unit. But we had a win streak from the beginning of the game until Crux. Perfect. That is how you play Duelist. That is that is what you need to do. You need to you need to go hard. Especially if you like find a quick early Nyla. It is a Duelist game for sure. You might as well check what the other team has. Maybe someone's playing Duelist as well, and then you could you could decide if that is the best idea. But I think overall it is the best idea. It's such a good early pressure comp, right? Think about it like this. If I get a Fiora and a Yasuo now and go six, I'm gonna I'm gonna do so much damage on the enemy team for quite a while. That's my Yasuo, and we got some extra econ. This is probably going on my vein. So if I find a Fiora right now, I'm gonna level to six. There's no Fiora. Um, 16. I'm leveling because I can stay above 50. Probably guarantee me another win. This could be a Brambles, Protector's Foul, or actually I want to do the Locket. Because if you play a Locket on Nala, like you can do something really cool. You can just put her at the back line as well and lock it everyone or almost everyone. And then you're probably good. She's decently strong just because she has three two stars. I might lose this. That would be a shame because I also leveled. I probably. I was kind of. Oh no, we're winning this. We're winning this. Definitely win this. Good. Okay, buy another two cost to ten at the pool. This is just a very good habit to have, right? Give yourself the optimal. Okay, there's blue and purple, right? Three and four costs. Let's see. We can have a Bane, Nyla, and a Zed. So we're going to see what we get, right? I'm not going to go for this. This is not bad. This will probably streak us. We're going to look for the Vein Augment first. Let's see if someone else has the Vein Augment. What's the Recon dude? Does he... No, he's not... We're gonna roll for the vein augment. One more. This is bad. Okay. <laughs> then we're going for this. Jesus. That was not good at all. I'm gonna roll a bit for my Fiora. Okay, 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 okay. We rolled a bit. It's all good. We can make most of the money back. So we have five Nylas. Because I got three in here. There's so one extra, and I have one in the orb. By the way, Jubilant Veil gives everyone... Uh, no, we have five nearest ally immunity to crowd control for 30 seconds. That's very good. Because think about it like this. You need to do as many attacks as possible for your duelist to scale up. So not being able to be crowd controlled guarantees you... Stacks. Speed stacks, right? 
to Fioras. Okay, that is sticks to a list. That is perfect. Keep it like this. So I want a locket or I want a bow or I want a rod. Right, the bow can go on Nyla. Nyla will give us the locket so we can basically lock it everyone give everybody a shield and the bow will give us his last whisper also very good but we're doing fine i think we're strong enough to just stay here and get some econ he can be a problem he has the relentless assault so he's gonna speed up his attacks very fast and that's the reason we want last whisper right he's a tanky boy i'm gonna shred that shield He's not going to get my Nala down that, that easy, I think. Nah. Good, good, good. So we're turning out the pool. For my Nihilus. Because another 3 star might be... Might be... The reason you can really win it. If you have a Nihilus 3 and a Vein 3 for something something like that. Or a very good itemized Yas um, Z. Then you have a chance to win it. But it's actually more of a comp that... And it should go like three, three, third or fourth place. Maybe second, depends on the on the team, the enemies. Let's see if we can get a bow. If not, we are probably going for the rod. Nope. Also, the bow is probably gone. Okay, maybe we get the rod. If we don't get the rod, we probably go for a... Not going to go for a... Hard. We, may, we might go for this cloak. I tell you why we go for the cloak. Cloak can also become a Runance. Look at this. Actually insane. This can also be a Runance, right? Will I look for an upgrade? What is an upgrade I can have? A Yasuo or a Vein? A uh, Yasuo or a Viora? Is that an upgrade that really, really, really helps me? Or is it decent? So, what can we make from this? We can make a Dragon Claw. We can make a runat we can even make a bt ionic spark depends on how we will build this i didn't want to commit to the brambles Fe bramble fest i really want to have a locket here i want to wait until wolves before i decide because i think a locket will really um, enable me to really really streak it okay so meta tft thinks we're gonna lose this fight and i actually do agree edge deans and a lot of healing and i don't think we can we can kill this uh lee even Big shields. All good. Decent loss. Then again, we're six, uh, 60 something gold because we got a lot of units here as well. We can level up pretty soon. It's nine. Okay. We level up pretty soon. We level after wolves. Then we're seven. At seven, we're going to reroll a bit for Nyla and for my vein. Because let us look. There's one Nyla here, but he doesn't really need a Nyla. Just has it. This guy is playing Laser Corp, so no Nyla, no Nyla, no Nyla, no Nyla. One Nyla, he's playing a Recon Star Guardian build. He's level 640 gold. So I probably will out um, roll him because I already have six, actually. I still have one in the orb as well. Good, this is the win. Good little win again. I did not grab up, grab the orb, right? No, I did not. That's good. Okay, we level up. We pre-level up just for the better odds next round. We sell these. Maybe we get some items. Maybe we even get a Nyla. I've seen that happen a lot. But we're in a very good position, right? We did the early pressure. We went fast six for six duelists. Oh yeah, of course, for seven. Um, now we're probably gonna put a. I usually put like just an ox first dude in, or maybe knight of two as well. Another knight of two, not bad. Okay, this is very bad. Oh, this is good. Oh, you know what we're putting in. You know what we're putting in. We're gonna put a locket on her. We're gonna do this. This this um maybe put it like this and this let's see if this works actually i'm not entirely sure okay we can re-roll a bit for you know for my nylas and for my um wait, one second 
for my nihilus and for my veins for three rolls for three costs uh, three stars all right and we wait problem is we need damage items on vein right now right We don't need to panic because it's very simple, right? These guys are 7 with 10 gold. They really went hard. I'm 7, 50 gold. I just need to hit and I will eventually have a lot of gold. So what is a good thing to do, right? I would actually say it is a thrill of the hunt just because my vein is going to be my damage carry, at least for now. So I think she needs some extra health. Heal some. But we need to hit we will oh yeah we will one more vein and two more nihilus we roll a little bit we roll one more we want twice okay keep it like this you might even just do this i didn't like the the fight at the beginning like really next to my vein i did not enjoy that so let's talk about ideal items on vein okay we have a glove on it it has to be last whisper and we have another glove so a giant slayer is good as well the last whisper giant slayer brunons something like that that's probably my um ideal setup with the items i have right now so let's see if we can actually get it so we need a bow we need two bows that's actually very bad but we did not find a bow just yet so that gives me a decently high chance of getting that Will I win this? I don't think I... Oh, maybe I will. Trail of the Hunt Diff? Trail of the Hunt Diff. That's definitely Trail of the Hunt Diff. I think we all have seen that, right? Perfect. Perfect. Actually perfect, right? And I rule a bit. No, nothing. And we keep it like this. Now, the only real thing that is gonna be um, hard for me is to get good items. Because I'm on the top of the board, I am not guaranteed getting good items. So we have to be a little bit flexed, right? So even if I can't get a double sword or a belt, we're probably going for a bow for Guardbreaker. Uh, a belt for Guardbreaker. And then we can see if that actually will help us. He's playing Laser Corp. That's actually pretty decently strong against me. Yeah, decent, decent, decent. Oh, people are... Look, the reason I'm losing is very simple, right? Everybody's spending all their gold. I am not, right? I just need to hit a bit. And we're good. This bow, we are not going to get it. This sword, maybe. So it's maybe the sword... The belt or the bow. See what we can get. Okay, that is good. No bow yet. Okay, that is the bow. That is the sword. And we have nothing again. So we're probably going for a hodge. At this time, I am really a... I'm really for not holding all your items just because you don't have the ideal items. I just don't think that is very smart, right? So we're probably going for a Hodge. This has to be something. This could be Guard Breaker, Last Whisperer, or Giant Slayer. Uh, in the edge. So let us see if we can hit my Nihilas. Go a little bit. We can go a little bit under 50. I don't mind too much. This is a good upgrade. We have a tree star Nyla. I should have picked it up because I'm an idiot. So we're going to sell, sell, sell. We actually could have hold that gangplank. It's all good. We're going to ditch the gangplank anywho. We're going to ditch it for a Z. Find it. We're not going to really itemize Z that much. Doesn't matter too much for me. But let me grab this. Good. I think we're stable now. We can go for eight. Let me grab up this Nyla. We have a three star Nyla and a three star Fane. It's all about items now and keeping up the pressure. So leveling. People are rolling down at seven. That is a very good sign for us, right? People are really trying to be strong now. 
this will help me a lot something i do have to um, think about is is her fur five nearest allies one two three four is this the nearest or this the nearest i think veins in the clear let's see what happens we don't want to make a quicksilver because we already have the jubilant fail just wait and we go eight at eight what are we putting in we're probably just getting like good first style units right so let's see if we can get ergot a azel is actually not bad as well just one ult is good enough um sejuani is good actually do not mind a echo yep that is probably the play but depends what we get right you can even put in a little falcus but it all depends what we get okay and now we are going to hold gold and we're gonna stay above 50 people need to know that right you need to stay above 50 this guy is eight zero gold he is just hope oh he has four ace he's pretty strong though he is pretty strong so this is this might be a dude that will actually eventually win if he just keeps on hitting right but we had so much pressure look at that look at the health of the top uh, the bottom four right if i just don't screw up i will probably be fine okay this is great so we're gonna make a last whisper from this and we're probably making a dead blade i think that is the best i do not like these items but i don't see a other option we can make a chalice and we put it on Yasuo because it will give Nyla some AP. She does some AP damage. She skills AP. He skills AP and he as well. But that is probably the... Wait, there's more items. Why am I even tripping? Um, do I want... I probably want a Giant Slayer, right? Sojin. And then we can make a BT and... Okay. We're making a Giant Slayer and we are going to make a... Um, not sure who we're putting this on just gonna wait a second depends bt it could actually be good on the bt good boys good boys so let's level up a bit good Almost there. We can put in a Sejuani. I am going to do that. I'm going to level as well. I'm going to put it on some pressure. And we're going to put a blue buff on her. I think so. I don't know, man. I'm not sure. This is better. I'm really not sure. If I make a blue buff, what is the other champ that could use a blue buff? I think we can. I think I'm making a chalice and a sojin, and the sojin is gonna go on like a or a. Or a I'm gonna put it on her for now. Okay, this is my thinking. If I make a blue buff, it's not an ideal item for basically anyone on my team. It is basically only viable for Leblancs and Sorakas and. Really? Hmm, did not expect that loss. We'll talk about it in a second. So a Sojin is just a little bit more flex, right? Aesol is good with the Sojin. Urgot is good with the Sojin. So these two are probably the, the units I want to go for. So now this is something that is pretty... I need to think about like this. The reason I put it like this, I want the Verdant Veil. Jubilant Veil. No, this is better. This is better. I don't like this spot for her. Let's see if this works. I want her... She needs the uh, crowd control immunity. But she didn't have it last round. And it screwed me up. Bane is really a tank slayer right now, and that's very good. Yeah, go win, go win, go win. So, as you guys can see, strong early game actually guarantees me of getting a top four because just of fight of attrition, right? 
these guys are losing so much health by losing in the beginning. And I had, was so healthy. So this Urgot is actually pretty great for me. The item is kind of ham, but it doesn't matter. I really do think if I cannot hit the Urgot, I'm going to get this set with the best item as well. The Edge of Night. That is good. Edge of Night is great. That is that is his best item by far. So we can think about even playing double some hacker action, right? Should we play some hacker action? I'm definitely doing this. Definitely doing this. That's for sure. That is for sure. Nah, I want him. I want him to get the damage. So, don't forget, I need to grab a hacker. And still, we're gonna just make money. I think that's just the best chance for me. Good win, boys. Very good win. He's still winning. He's four A's. He's going to be really tough to beat. I don't think we can actually beat him at all. But it's all good. The duelist, you play it for the placement, right? Top four. Play well, top three. If you're lucky with some with some rolls and hit at level eight and level nine, it's a top one. Is that a thing? You know what I'm saying, right? But we're just going to play like this. Let's see what he has. Okay, we just want to not get hit by the Urgot, right? Let's see if this is something that could actually work for me. I doubt it, man. I doubt it. He's playing four A's. It's going to be real hard for me. Then again. Good. We won. Good. And we have 74 gold at level 8. The reason I switch it is just because... There's an Urgot there. I don't want to hit the whole team, right? We're going to sell these. We're going to sell these. So, top four in the bag. Right? Top four in the bag. Top four in the bag. We're going to grab this hacker for now. And level nine, we're gonna put in this hacker. Are we gonna level now or are we gonna, are we gonna wait? Could wait a bit, right? We're healthy. Health guarantees us some leeway to not be dead in one fight. And I think that's actually not a bad idea. I'm gonna nah I'm not gonna level. I'm gonna play this, 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 put an item on him. A Titan's resolve is not ideal. I'm here. This is how I like to play it. Say 100 health. It sounds a little weird, but it's just way better, right? 100 gold, I mean. I'm actually winning this while I still have 100 gold. Because I know this guy, this number two guy, is probably being a problem for me, right? Oh, he's losing. Lovely. Let them fight it out, right? Let's see what we can hit. That's actually beautiful. Let's level until we have 50 gold. Okay, pretty good. This item is going on a Urgot. It has to go on a Urgot. This is going to be an Urgot and Fiddle too.
Let's get this set on his Samira. I know the Times Resolve is not the ideal item on him. But the Samira is dead. That's very good. Actually, one of the most worrisome champs for me. And it's another win. And this dude is 1 HP? 2 HP. And I think he's almost losing against me. But then again, so low. So he doesn't have gold. Roll bit for a Urgot. We need a Urgot. Urgot. I am level 9, aren't I? Aren't I level 9? Are these level 9 shops? And I didn't check at all. So we're going to sell this. We're not going to play this. We're not going to play this. This, this. This. Let's see what happens. Okay, this is bad. I needed to scout this real, real bad. It is his... Um, those, so that doesn't matter that much for me. Is he missing this? I think he is. I don't think I can beat him. I do have Giant Slayer and Last Whisper, so that's fairly good. Okay, we win this. What are they doing? Okay, the dude with the Aces is out. And now we just roll for a Urgot and a Fiddle. Urgots and Fiddles, that's all we need. I think I'm going for the Urgot. Saves me so much cash, right? I could get a better item, but it saves me cash. So, what is the best way to play this, right? I need my hacker on his Soraka. Take that out of the game. This is gonna be this. Ah, uh, this. Rolling for... Ma. Little Urgots. And my... Where are my ergots? Am I okay? We take this, take this. Okay, I think this helped. This ergot should not be here. That's my bad. Okay, we both skipped our most dangerous champs, right? Then again, my ergot's really screwing up his. Screwing up his jacks. Stay alive, Nyla. Stay alive, Nyla. Stay alive, Nyla. And we kill this. I think we won the game. And that is how you play Duelist, my friend. You go hard. You go for Duelist ASAP. As soon as you can get six, you go six. Doesn't matter about your econ. Just go hard. Win early. Stay strong. When you're strong, save money. Get the nine. Roll down. And that is how you win. All right? So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and drop a comment. It will help me out a lot. And I'll see you in the next video.